So we do have the ability to produce IFCs and Corby spreadsheets. And out of the box, we've provided a method to map the catalog types and the instances to IFC definitions. So an OBD wall becomes an IFC wall. But there are always circumstances where users have frequently requested control over this. So we allow you to override the default settings either at catalog type level or item level or even at an instance level as well so that you can produce well-formed IFC files and all the intelligence that you have in that data group system comes across into the IFC file. We provide UIs that allow you to go to your top level list of your catalog types and you say, Everything in the concrete beam catalog is going to be exported as an IFC beam. And we might do it as a generic level because within the IFC standard, there are variations. You can see there one a little piece of text at the bottom of the right-hand side that says IFC beam type 4. Within the IFC standard, you can have different types of IFC beam in type you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, et cetera, user-defined, et cetera. And out of the box, everything within that catalog inherits the parent definition. However, and you can see that on that dialog box on the left-hand side there, but we can override that using this dialog box. So an individual beam might go out as a very specific IFC beam type. So we give you that level of granularity. But we also do that for the individual properties because, again, the OBD schema and the IFC schema have very specific naming conventions. And out of the box, we've already done some pre-mapping for you to make sure an OBD fire rating becomes an IFC fire rating for a beam, because there are specific fields to do that. We give you a dialog box that allows you to override those. If you're creating custom property tables in OBD because your client requires you to make custom properties for their needs and you need to get those into an IFC, we provide the ability to map those custom fields into IFC fields if they already exist in the IFC schema. So again, we can do catalog type mapping and we can do property mapping out of the box. It does require a bit of patience and capability to do that. But it's a very powerful tool. We've got people using it effectively you know, today and successfully today. So they're using IFCs as the lingua franca for you know, project delivery. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.